Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am doing a marathon cleaning video. Um, I don't have a video for this week going up, so I'm just going to do this marathon video. Um, I do live in Louisiana, so we had a really bad snowstorm that came through. It snowed for like six days and we were snowed into our house. We could not go nowhere. The roads were horrible. And our pipes froze. And on top of all of that, there was a main water break um, somewhere in our area. So they shut the water down to our whole area. So I am just going to do this marathon cleaning video, which is packed full of tons of cleaning motivation, deep cleaning, laundry, um, deep cleaning the kitchen, the clean living room. So I don't have water and I didn't want to film and come on camera looking like a hot mess because we have no water. We have not had water in about seven days, eight days now. And, um, I was not coming on camera looking like a hot mess because we, none of us can get a shower and I can't get my dishes washed and do laundry. So hopefully they'll have everything taken care of because tomorrow everything is supposed, our water is supposed to come back on. I cannot wait. And when it does, I will have tons of cleaning motivation coming up because I've got like a stack of dishes and piles of laundry so I have tons of motivation coming very soon so in the meantime I hope you guys enjoy this video um, and I will talk to you guys next week and our dog Thor the whole bottom part of the walls I had tried to show you guys but I couldn't really see very well but the whole bottom of my walls and doors just had mud on them from when it, I live in Louisiana and it rains entirely too much. And he'll come in and be muddy and shake and get mud on the bottom of the doors and baseboards. And it's a mess. So I was just using Lysol all-purpose cleaner with some hot water and just disinfecting our doors and door handles. And right here I am just picking off the um, little door sticker, wall sticker I had for Christmas. Because I will also be taking down Christmas decorations in my foyer. So I am cleaning, deep cleaning the hallway and the foyer. So that will, all the Christmas stuff will be taken down in there, just trying to get ready to start decorating for Valentine's Day here pretty soon. look how nasty this water is and that is just from cleaning the doors and the door handles it's pretty bad so now I'm just gonna change out my water and my mop head and mop handle I bought from the Dollar Tree and that is what I'm using to wash my walls it made my life so much easier just by doing this I didn't have to step up and down on a step ladder it wasn't doing all that bending over so I suggest going to Dollar Tree and getting one of these and just use it for your walls because it made my life so much easier and here in a minute I will show you guys the little mop pad and show you how dirty the walls were they weren't they weren't as bad as the doors because they don't really get touched that much but they were dusty
So I had changed out my Lysol bucket of water and now I'm getting started on my baseboards and the hallway. They were pretty hairy. There was a lot of dog hair on them and because Thor likes to lay up against the um, walls and everything so they were pretty dusty and with quite a bit of dog hair. So I'm just going to wipe this vent down. I was trying to figure out how to take that one off so I could actually soak it, deep clean it, but I don't think mine comes off because I can't quite figure it out. So, but now I am going to steam clean the floors and the hallway, and then when I am done with my hallway, I will be moving on to the foyer. And in videos coming up, the next room that gets deep cleaned is the living room. Just going to be wiping the walls and dusting everything in there. And that is the next video. Um, but right here, I brought my husband's shelf back in. And I'm getting all of his Avengers dusted because I had took them all down and put them in the shed to put his tree up. I had a video of me taking down the tree, so I thought I did, but I guess I didn't record it. But he had a Marvel Christmas tree with all the Marvel figurines and stuff. And so I brought in all of his Marvel characters from the shed and brought in back in his shelf. So I was just getting everything dusted so I can get them all set back up where they belong. into the foyer and I am just getting all of the Christmas decorations taken down so I can deep clean in here and get the walls and those little built-ins wiped down and I'm gonna take my garland Christmas lights down and I'm only gonna show you guys me taking one banister down because I sort of struggled and I didn't think you guys wanted to watch like the whole thing with me taking all of that down so but anyways I am rambling so yes I will just take this one down and then I skip the rest and then we get back into wiping the walls and the doors and everything else
guys can really see that. That is all mud. Our backyard floods, so when Thor finally gets to go out, he comes in so muddy. And he will rub up against the wall. He'll shake. So I have to scrub those all the time. So now I'm just going to wipe down my walls and get the baseboards next. and dog hair and about 95 percent of it is all from thor um just because he's our wild puppy but i have to sweep daily but uh, i kind of didn't sweep for like three days i just lounged around and relaxed after christmas so the floors didn't get swept or mops they were pretty gross on this day if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification button it'll let you know every time i upload a new video which the videos that i have coming up are deep cleaning so if you guys need or you want that extra motivation videos to deep clean your house and just get ready for 2021 and just wash 2020 away um these are the videos i have tons more coming up so so i hope everybody had a wonderful christmas and a happy new year and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you guys some motivation and I will talk to you guys next week. Hi, my name is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. On this day, I have got tons of deep cleaning motivation for you guys. This took me two days to tackle my living room. I got everything moved out and dusted, and the blinds were a little dusty. They weren't too bad. Right here, I am just going to spray down my window and clean that inside and out. And as soon as I opened up the blinds, it just... The lighting, it was really bad with my camera, so. So I hope I can provide you guys tons of motivation to wash away 2020. This is my part two of wash 2020 away. I it will be wiping down the walls and I still have the kitchen I want to get done and the bathroom and my bedroom. So, there will be tons more of deep cleaning motivation coming, and 
if you guys enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification button, and it will let you know every time I upload a new video. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, go over there and follow me. It is jamie.p12. So I hope this gives you guys tons of motivation. It took me two days to get it done. Um, I was not very motivated. I was tired. I didn't have the energy to get it done. And I finally got it done. It just took me a little while. So, I hope this helps and... Right here I was just working in sections because that is just what was easier for me so I got the end table wiped down and pulled out and so got the wall wiped down the baseboards in this little area and so just getting it vacuumed and then I will be moving over to my husband's desk cleaning that off and dusting everything and vacuuming up underneath there and then I will start moving on pulling that couch out to get back behind there. And oh my goodness, you guys, all the trash you guys will see here in a few minutes. I am getting ahead of myself. Um, so yes, right here I am just getting everything cleaned out from underneath my husband's desk. Also be decorating for Valentine's Day in the living room and in the foyer area getting that decorated and ready and as soon as I get to the kitchen that will be getting decorated as well for Valentine's Day so stay tuned for that next video So this little cubby shelf I got at Walmart, I paid roughly, I think, $30 for it. Um, I keep my laptop 
on that shelf right there. And then those two bottom ones, my son, he had his little bin in his room because that is what I keep all of their school supplies in. The other one is my daughter's bin. Um, I keep their books, their pencils, everything in there. So all they have to do is just come to the living room, grab their little bins, go to their room, and do their school. So we keep it right there at my husband's desk and at the window and we keep our printer on top of there so if there's anything the kids need to scan in or print off um it's just right there So right here I am scrubbing down this coffee table um, this coffee table is super super old my mom had it for 15 plus years I've had it for um, almost five years but as I was cleaning that one corner um, I kind of rubbed some of the stain off right there so you could just see the bare wood but right here I am pulling out my couch so I can get that clean back behind there and then I'll end up having to move this end table over a little bit. This couch was kind of heavy. <laughs> so, but this is what was back there. It's like tons of trash. It's just, I don't, even with teenagers, it still amazed me how much trash in gets up underneath my couch so I'm just gonna pick up all the big stuff before I get that area vacuumed and I am just wiping down the baseboards right here and then I will get the walls washed down <laughs> If you haven't seen my last video, my Swiffer mop I bought from the Dollar Tree and that is what I use to wipe down the walls. It was a lot faster and easier because there was no, I didn't have to I get up and down off the step ladder and I got my walls wiped down and like that whole section less than two minutes and usually it took me gosh a long time to get it done because I could only do a little bit having to get up and down on the step ladder and it's a loss a lot less bending over and getting on your hands and knees to get the lower parts of the wall so highly suggest getting a little Swiffer mop to do your walls it just makes everything so much easier and a lot quicker so I'm just going to get this area vacuumed up and then get my couch pushed back and I will be taking all the cushions off my couch and vacuuming all of those really well to get all that dog hair off of them. Underneath my cushions, the couch was, it was gross. There was a lot of dirt and trash and crumbs underneath my cushions.
forgot to tell y'all what I was using to wipe all my walls down with. I was using Lysol All Purpose Cleaner to wipe the walls down, the baseboards, my coffee table and end tables because I was just trying to get everything disinfected and I was just trying to wash 2020 off the walls because last year it just wasn't it just wasn't a good year so the whole lockdown thing that started March 13th well that was my birthday so it just really started out so bad because my birthday was March the 13th and that's when everything got locked down and just so much crap it just happened and I had a lot of deaths in my family um, none of them passed away from COVID or anything but it just was not a good year at all so just trying to wipe all this crap away and hopefully this year it will be so much better for everybody as well and this throw blanket I got from Burlington last year I paid $12 for it and those little pillow covers I made those last year they got hearts on them um, but they did not fit the throw pillows I have for this couch so I need to find some new throw pillows that they will fit and I have some soft pink fuzzy pillows I'm going to put on the couch. this was the next day and that is the trash that was up underneath that recliner and I also keep the dog's toys back behind here because on the other side of the recliner they can actually get back there to get their toys out and I will also be vacuuming that cat tree but I think I'm actually about to get rid of that cat tree because our cats decided they wanted to be outside cats and they don't use it no more so I think I'm actually going to get rid of that so that it's just not taking up space. <laughs>
So this is going to be the one of my favorite things I got this year. I finally found this lamp. I have been looking for a lamp like this for a little over a year now that I can just take the top off and put some decorations down in there for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Easter. There's just the endless possibilities I can do with this. I am so excited to be able to change this out and just decorate it for every season, every holiday. I love it. It's, I'm obsessed with this. This is just one of my favorite finds for 2021. And I found it at Home Depot, if I have not said that already. This is still the same day. I had took a break and I was eating and I kind of dumped ranch dressing on my shirt. So I went and changed my shirt and if you guys can see on my TV, I have my tripod set up on my couch just so I can get a good angle right here. Everything in my karyo cabinet did get wiped down and dusted, but I just didn't realize the battery on my camera had died, and I just didn't want to dust it for the second time, the dust again for the camera. So, but yes, everything in there did get wiped down and dusted. So I'm gonna put my yoga mat back up and put my basket back. So that heart bowl, it just didn't stay there. The love and kiss signs, I found those at Hobby Lobby last year. And that little flower I found at Hobby, Dolly, Hobby Lobby last year, sorry. And that I put together last year and I found everything for that at Walmart. Okay, so now to clean up this whole little area because I was just throwing stuff in this corner as I was pulling it throughout the living room. So.
Yep, moved on to my foyer. That little sign I got from Dollar General last year. The scarf I'm using for a runner I bought from the Dollar Tree last year. And the little love sign I'm about to put right there I got from Dollar General, the Dollar Tree. Sorry, the Dollar Tree. And my love and kiss signs, I got those from Hobby Lobby last year. They did not stay on the coffee table because I'm just undecisive on where I wanted to put stuff. And I don't have a lot of Valentine's decor because everything I have is from last year. And I just have not been to Hobby Lobby yet. So in the next week or so, I'm going to try to get out there so I can get some more Valentine's decor to get put up. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys tons of motivation to tackle your guys' homes. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And when you hit the bell notification button, it'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And follow me over on Instagram at jamie.p12. I post over there. Um, I haven't posted in a little bit. So, but that is my goal for this year is to post over there more and here is the lamp again. Oh, I love it. I need to put some more hearts in there to finish filling that part up. Um, but I hope everybody has a wonderful Tuesday and I will talk to you guys next week. Jamie Pierce welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new I am giving my bathroom a deep cleaning I am wiping down the walls the baseboards the cabinet doors taking the shower curtains down and giving those a quick washing because they're dirty um, I like to wash them every few weeks and I will change out my plastic curtain um, every six months <laughs>
and they are teens now. Oh, my son is 15. He will be driving next year. I cannot believe it. And my daughter is 12. She will be 13 in February. And oh my goodness, y'all, they grow up so fast. But anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. Um, so yes, I like to use Lysol products in my home. I, it's something I have been using ever since the kids were babies. to mention I am going to start uploading two videos a week now I upload on Tuesdays already and I'm going to start uploading on Saturday just to help you guys get ready for the next week ahead a little extra motivation So this bathroom is so small. Um, I try to get good angles with my camera. It's really difficult to get a good angle in here because I can't bring my tripod in really because it's my tripod is way too big and I have no room in here. So I am just going to do the best I can with what I have. toilet bowl brush like that with the lid down on it just so it can dry a little bit before I stick it back in its uh, container and I am going to spray some Lysol disinfectant in there because I had ran out of my all-purpose Lysol disinfectant so I am just improvising for the time being and spray that down and wipe it down and I'm going to let my toilet bowl, toilet bowl brush sit there so it can get disinfected and now I am going to wipe down the um, ca uh, bathroom cabinet doors. <laughs> So 
So now I am using my Swiffer to wipe down my walls in the bathroom. And y'all, I am serious. This has been such a lifesaver. I know I have said it in my last video, well, last two videos. This is has been my lifesaver. It keeps me from getting up and down on the step ladder and potentially falling and hurting myself because, you know, I am a little clumsy. I Sometimes I trip over my own feet. But, yes, this has been such a lifesaver. And I suggest everybody using a little Swiffer on your walls to wipe them down. And I need to fix that door. <laughs> But that's where I've had some holes patched. Um, just trying to decide on what color I want to paint my walls in here. Oh my goodness, did you guys just see the shower caddy fall? It about took my camera. Thank goodness I saved my camera because my heart was literally in my toes. I thought it was gonna hit the floor. Oh, I was kind of panicking there for a minute because buying a new camera is not in my budget right now. So I was just so glad it didn't hit the floor and I saved it. So I just got done wiping the tub back out because I had poured that nasty water down the drain and I had the toilet bowl brush container sitting in there. So I just wanted to spray that down again and wipe it out. And now I am putting all of my um shampoos conditioners and products back the razors and our sponges getting everything put back in their home cleaning the bathroom sink down because my kids had all their stuff everywhere and I have my tripod standing in my shower right now um, so I'm going to get this sprayed down and wiped down really well and clean that mirror <laughs> sink faucet back down and went and grabbed a little scrub brush so I can scrub back behind there and up underneath that a little bit because it was just nasty there was just some build up back there and the scrub brush I am using I bought a pack of four it came with four in there and I got them from the Dollar Tree they have been some of the best little scrub brushes I have used because I can get into some of the little nooks and crannies with them one of my favorites and I have a oil diffuser I keep in this bathroom um, I have them all over my house and I the I use um, this oils from Bath and Body Works like the little air fresheners I just pull the little filter out of them and just pour a little bit in there like a drop or two and it makes everything smell so good So now I am hanging up my plastic shower curtain and I actually forgot to hang up the cloth shower curtain but towards the end of the video you'll see me coming back in here and adding that and it was like two days later 
because when I was editing this video today, which is on a Monday, I realized, I'm like, I didn't hang my cloth shower curtain up. So I ran and did that so I can get it done and ready to be uploaded tomorrow. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. On this day, I have tons of laundry motivation for you guys. This took me two days to get done. Um, on this day, I started late at night getting laundry done. And then I finished it all up the very next day. But I am just separating clothes. And all of my husband's white undershirts. You won't see me washing those because I actually tossed all of those and just went and bought him new shirts, undershirts, because I couldn't get them cleaned. I've bleached them several times, so I was just done fooling with them, so I just tossed them and went and bought him all new ones. And then I round up all of my towels Gain fabric softener and laundry Lysol and some Gain fling pods but that laundry Lysol disinfectant I love that stuff I hadn't been able to find it for months and I finally found some I was so glad that I finally found it so now I am going to grab some more clothes and toss those in the washer and get those started <music> So now I'm just getting everything out of the washer and tossing it all in the dryer. And this laundry room, just ignore my laundry room, y'all. It is a wreck. My comforter is sitting on top of the dryer because I had just got it washed and dried. Um, I didn't close my bedroom door all the way and Thor went in there with his muddy feet. So it took me a little bit to get the mud out of my comforter. And then my kids' little ping pong table. I got to get this room under control. It's out of control. I will tackle it one day.
going to start getting them all folded, hung up, and I need to get some more of those gray hangers. I like those so much better because sometimes my shirts with the plastic hangers, they'll fall off. And with those gray hangers, they're slick free and my clothes actually stay on there. And plus it takes less, a lot less room in the closet. But I didn't have enough for all of my clothes and my husband's clothes. So I need to get some more. you guys so this is like taking me forever to do this little voiceover on this section because I just keep messing up so take 20 um but if I don't take when I as soon as I get the clothes out of the dryer if I don't fold it as soon as they come out I'm not gonna get it done they will literally sit in a basket for a week I don't know why but I just I struggle getting them all folded all at once so I have to do it as soon as they come out of the dryer my husband he will sit there and do laundry and just get everything all washed up and just have it all piled up on the couch or on the bed until he gets it all done and then he'll sit down and start folding it and putting away if I was to do something like that oh my gosh we would be living out of a basket for a month because it wouldn't get done because I would just look at it and be like oh my goodness it would just be put in a basket and put to the side and just get clothes out as we need them I that's that's my downfall started my YouTube channel is something I had been wanting to do for so long for a good four or five years I had been wanting to do it but I had just been scared to so last year I took the leap and I started my channel I was so nervous and to the point where I don't know when I'm do when I did my voiceovers I really wasn't like confident in myself and I was nervous about doing it and I just wanted to I just wanted it to be perfect and you know kind of watch what I say and not be silly or goofy but you know that's just not who I am I say random things I do random things um I can make you laugh or I don't know this year I decided I'm getting more comfortable with it and being and filming myself and talking to the camera more, which I have been really trying to do that more. And I just want to have fun and I want to have a, my little YouTube family and just get to know it, all of you guys and just enjoy it. So I am just trying to be more comfortable with my channel and doing my voiceovers and not sound like such a, a robot, I guess. Um, and when it comes to doing my voiceovers, I don't write nothing down. I don't think about what I want to say and then write it all down and read it off of there. Um, I'm just, 
I just do it freely. Like, I'll just start it and if get to somewhere I'm like, ooh, I want to say this or talk about this. Um, but it's just something I wanted to do, try to talk to you guys a little bit more. And if there's anything about me that you guys want to know, just ask down below and I will be glad to tell you. But I am a wife and a mom of two. My son is 15 and my daughter is 12. She will be 13 the 26th of this month. And I have been married to my husband for 10 years. And I kn I've known my husband since I was 16. Um, but we didn't date or anything in high school. We both graduated high school. He went to the army and then he got married and then I had got married and we both ended up divorced and then we found ourselves, found our way to each other and been married for 10 years. So he stuck with me. I always tell him we're lifers because he ain't getting rid of me, at least not that easy. So now I am getting ready to start folding up all of my towels and getting those all done up and out of the way. And I will quit rambling and play some music. just putting mine and my husband's hunting clothes in the dryer and the laundry soap I use is a unscented laundry soap just because you don't want no scent or um, fragrances on them and on that wall right there there's a hook right there and I hang all of my bras up on there as soon as they're done washing because I don't like putting them in the dryer because it messes them up and then they don't last very long but also the straps get tangled up in my shirts or jeans and just not trying to mess them up so I hang them on that little hook right there and just let them air dry. can see I was just putting the long johns on the hanger and then putting the pants on there with them and then the shirt I tried to keep everything together as much as possible and I also will you'll see here in a few I take our um, our gloves our hats and our little um, face mask to just block the wind from your face um, I just put those in the jackets and keep them all together so when we get ready to go out which we are done for the season 
but we'll have everything ready for next season. And so I just do it that way so it doesn't get lost. I just put the hats and gloves in the jacket pockets and zip them up. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you tons of laundry motivation. And if nothing else, I hope it was entertaining just watching me do my laundry. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Tuesday. And I will talk to you guys on Saturday. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.